Melbourne, Australia. Wakasomo Kuchinsali, Western Province, Northern Province. Welcome, wherever you are. Guys, the other day, I get a notification. Somebody says to me, do you know that Andrew Ejimadu, this false prophet that hails from Nigeria, apparently he made reference to you in one of his sermons. And I watched the clip, and it broke my heart, and let me tell you why. Andrew Ejimadu, whom you refer to as seer nothing, begins to preach to a crowd of about 3,000 people underneath a tree. And instead of talking about Christ the Redeemer, instead of talking about the fairest of 10,000, instead of talking about the bright and the morning star, he begins to talk about me. Guys, I have no redemptive power. But he missed an opportunity to preach the gospel, and yet he decided to start gossiping instead of preaching the gospel. Jesus said it this way. I'll throw it up. He said, the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. How in the world do you have a Nigerian false prophet that misses an opportunity like that where you've got 2,500 3,500 people that are listening to you, a captive audience. And then all of a sudden you begin to talk about Simon in Zambia. Those Nigerians don't know who I am. The Nigerian people, when they go to church, they're looking for a word of encouragement. They're looking for a word of edification, a word that will pull them up out of the miry clay of sin and put their feet on a higher ground. Not Chitambalamwewa, Simon from Zambia. It's a shame. It really is a shame. And so to my Nigerian brothers and sisters, I say to you, whenever you go to church, don't go to Andrew's church. All he ever does is gossip. Find a Bible-based church somewhere that will preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, that will fulfill the Great Commission. Not these jokers that stand underneath the tree and preach to you about gossip and foolishness. You've been warned, Nigeria. Do the right thing. Boom.